We're less than a year away from the 2020 presidential election, and it's no doubt that North Carolina will be a key battleground state. WNCT's Dylan Huffman spoke to a political science professor today who says if history tells us anything, it'll be both parties fighting hard to win North Carolina. Yeah, absolutely, guys. For the most part, North Carolina votes red when it comes to the presidency, except for 2008 when Barack Obama was elected. Now, I do have some stats. Things were really close in 2012 and in 2016. In 2012, Mitt Romney won North Carolina by just 2% in 2016. Donald Trump won North Carolina by just 3%. ECU's Peter Francia says this tells us North Carolina could go any direction in 2020. With candidates hitting the campaign trail vying for the presidency in 2020, ECU political science professor Peter Francia says North Carolina is one of the few states that could decide the winner. North Carolina is most definitely going to be a key battleground state in the 2020 election. We were a uh, battleground state in 2008, 2012. We were a battleground state in North Carolina in 2016. Francia says as we get closer, you're likely to see candidates visiting the state more often. In 2016, Donald Trump barely won North Carolina, and it's a state that the Republicans want to keep. Democrats, of course, want to pick up North Carolina and turn it in their favor. Of course, we all remember the 2000 election where George W. Bush wins the election because of uh, just a few precious votes in the state of Florida that, that tipped the balance in his favor. Francia says if they would have flipped, Al Gore would have won that election and the presidency. And he says North Carolina could do that same thing for a candidate this go round. In Lenore County, Dana King is the Board of Elections Director. She says her county usually votes Republican, but the problem they see, not many people are voting. But we had 16,000 voters that could have voted in this city election we just had. Only 3,000 voted. She says that's unfortunately the case with a lot of small counties across the state. I think and hope and pray that they will come out more. They do tend to come out more and a larger percentage um, on the presidential election years. But no matter who you vote for, North Carolina as a whole is a state to watch in determining the next president of the United States. Republicans will be investing a lot of money in North Carolina because they need to hold it if they want to hold the White House in 2020. And Democrats will do the same. They want to go, they'll need to go on offense. Francia says right now it's still too early to say who the Democratic candidate will be next year. He says the two to watch are Joe Biden and Elizabeth Warren. He also says it's also too early to tell if impeachment talks will play a part in how North Carolina votes in 2020 or how the election will go as a whole. In the studio, Dylan Huffman, 9 on your side.